and welcome to the Beauty is Found Within podcast, hosted by the beautiful Pippa Leslie. Pippa will be speaking about hers, other spiritual stories, perspectives, and journeys, so we can in turn find the right match of resonance that speaks to our heart and souls. Each week, she will be sharing topics around spirituality, manifestation, mindset, self-love, and personal growth, as well as personal interviews with our fellow soul family and friends. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beauty is Found Within podcast. Today I have just come on to talk about standing in your truth. Now, this comes up for me daily because for a long, long time I didn't. I just would go along with others' opinions. I would be swayed by others, you know, and that is part of growing up. I'm not saying that isn't, but one thing that has been coming up for me, because I try and talk about things that come up for me on a daily basis to help you and guide you. But standing in your truth has a lot to do with being authentic. Now, I know a lot of you will agree with this, you know, throughout our lives, we have been a people pleaser. We have, you know, a, a lot of us have kind hearts and we want to do things. So like when I mention about service to others, like I did on the previous episode, it is about service to others, but it's not in a place where we're doing it to please them. We're doing it because it's the service to them. It's to help them. It's to guide them. And it's it's having that boundary set for you because you cannot pour from an empty cup. And I, I can't stress that enough because service to others is amazing, but it has to come from a place where your cup is full all the time. Now, I'm not saying that I am full of life, high vibes every single day because that's it's not something that I want to be every single day. We have to embrace the highs, the lows, the midway because we need to know how it feels to be angry, how it feels to be sad, how it feels to be disappointed, upset, you know, all them emotions that, you know, bring our energy down. Remember, we're here having a human experience. So we have to embrace all of the lower emotions to know what they feel like. And how amazing is it that we get to feel those things? You know, because we have to feel those things. It's part of life. It really is. We can't be on this high vibe every single day. It would be exhausting. It really would. So standing in your truth has a lot to do with being your authentic self. And to me, that would mean your higher self the person within you who knows the way, who is aligned, who is connected, you know, that inner voice who is telling you to go, go live that dream, you know, attract that soulmate, do all those things that you are, you are meant to be here and you, you are meant for in this life. My previous episode was about your purpose. If you haven't listened to that yet, I really, really urge you to go and listen to that because So many of us are looking for a purpose and our purpose is within us. And when we start living from our our authentic selves, this is where our purpose starts to come to light because we're doing the things that we love. We're doing the things that make us smile and light us up and make us happy. And that is why I tell my friends and clients to do the things that you love on a daily basis. It's part of your self-love. It's part of your self-care. Now, growing up, we chose our challenges. I truly believe we chose our challenges. We chose all of our lessons and, you know, even our our good things that happen, you know, we chose every single thing that has led us to this exact moment. We really did. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, you know, I've had a lot of trauma in my life, Pip. You know, some of you may have had an easy life. Some of you may have had a hard life. And this is where you need to look at the bigger picture because a lot of us can sit in self-pity and woe is me, that, you know, you've had a bad life, you've had trauma, or you can use that pain and turn it into power because you don't realize how powerful you are. I've had trauma in my life that I don't speak about because I buried it. I buried things and I do stand in my truth. So, you know, nearly 10 years ago, this, this is coming from a place of, you know, authenticity because uh, a few weeks ago, my parents gave me a box to sort out, which was from the house. Obviously they've been 
uh, sorting things out. So they left it outside and I went and picked it up to sort a few things out. Um, one night I just got the box and it was a lot of my old uni stuff. It was a lot of my old college papers and, you know, things from a while ago that I'd forgotten about. And as I got to the bottom of the box, I found an old report that I'd totally forgotten about because my ego had pushed this away. My ego at the time had pushed this so deep within my soul that I'd actually forgotten about it. Now, just over 10 years ago, I was sexually assaulted. And that that sounds so strange saying out loud because I've never been able to say that properly because I was so ashamed of it at the time. So anyone relating to this, like I want you to just know that it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter how it happened. It doesn't matter when it happened. It happened. And that is part of your growth. And if you you need to see the good in everything, you really do because in that respect, it has helped me, you know, it came up at the exact right moment when I needed it to. I found that report and I was thinking, wow, I have forgotten all about this. Why? I asked myself, why did I forget about this? Why did I push it so deep within me? Why did I try and forget about it? And when I meditated and asked my higher self, why did I do this? It was because I was ashamed. You know, friends at the time would would slate me and say, you know, oh, you were asking for it. You, you probably flirted with him. You did this, you did that. And they're the people who you don't want to be surrounded with because in turn because of what they said to me, my action was to bury that, bury it deep within me. And that is not good. So I am saying this to you because you have to stand in your truth because I have said on previous episodes, everything you go through in life is going to help someone else. Because like I've said, there is no new lesson or challenge. We've all been through something traumatic whether it's losing a loved one, heartbreak, divorce, losing a child, losing a parent, losing a grandparent, whatever that trauma is, someone out there has been through that and someone out there can help you with the process. You will deal with it in your own way because we're all so different and we're all so unique and how you deal with your trauma is completely different to how I deal with it. But the message here is that you have people around you who want to help you, who who have been through your situation. So don't be afraid to reach out and stand in your truth and, and let your emotions out. Because you've heard it before, you know, hiding emotions isn't good for us. It's really not. And I hid away this, this report and I, you know, this assault and I was scared to talk about it because I was thinking it, it I was ashamed of it. I was ashamed because... It, you know, a, a different thing happened to me and I, I would, I would compare, well, this is the big word. I would compare it to others. And that is the wrong thing to do because we all experience it differently. I know other women who've had this as well, and they've been brave enough to talk about it. And, you know, theirs are probably a lot more traumatic than mine, but it does not matter. It still happened. It's still there. It's still in, it's still within you. And I let it go. I let it go and I forgave them and I just said it's part of my journey and to to have that mentality is so calming and to know that I it's this is so hard for you to, for some of you to believe but I I chose that I must have chose that in, in before I reincarnated into this life because it helped me grow it really did it really did I look back at those 10 years of my life and I think wow wow, how much I've grown, how much I've become a, an incredible woman, because I am an incredible woman. I am an incredible woman. And standing in your truth and sharing your voice is the most powerful thing you can do. Do not be afraid what others will say. Do not be afraid what your parents will say. Do not be afraid of what your friends will say, what your partner will say. Because this is your life. These are your choices. So being authentic is something that I resonate with on a daily basis. I don't do fakeness. I don't do fake it till you make it. I don't do anything like that because 
Yeah, with when it comes to manifestation, we have to live as though we we have these things, but that isn't faking it. That is just being aligned with what you desire and being grateful for what you already have. So for me, standing in your truth is far deeper than that. Standing in your truth is stripping yourself naked and being raw and showing the world who you are. Every single layer of you, every single beautiful thing about you, every trauma, every challenge, every lesson you've ever had, show it to the world. Because I I promise you there will be at least, and this is just the minimum, at least one person who looks at you and listens to you and hears your message and thinks, wow, she, she has changed my life. She has pushed me further on my path. She has helped me. She's helped me so much. And that is why my mission has always been to at least, you know, help one person a day. Because to help one person is so impactful on their life. Imagine if all of us could impact one person. Imagine if every single one of us in this world could impact one person a day. Could you imagine the shift in the planet? Could you imagine the shift in the spirituality, in the mindset, in the, you know, the mental health, in every single aspect? Could you imagine, you know, that service to others, helping one person a day? And that is why I'm so passionate about that. So I just wanted to come on and share that with you because, yeah, that was a long time ago and I found it about two weeks ago when I was still ashamed at the time and I was like why did I push that away and it's you know it doesn't matter now because I've let it go and it's a part of me and it always will be I can choose to forget about it you know and one thing I want what thing that's coming up for me right now is to say I've mentioned it before is do not compare your journey to others Please do not compare it because your journey is so, so unique to you. You were born with a purpose. It is you. You are the purpose. You are here to make a difference in, in whatever that looks like to you. And I urge you to connect, align and shine bright. Just shine as bright as you can. Don't compare yourselves to others because everyone's journey is completely different. I've been there. I've been in those darker places where I've compared and looked at other people doing better than me and it would send me deeper and further down into darkness where I didn't want to be and I had to stop because we're all so special and have special gifts that we have to look look within to find those and and you know you all know, you all know you have gifts listening to me right now you all have your special talents and gifts why hide them away and if you're scared good being scared means something worth fighting for being scared means that you're on the right path follow follow that that feeling because turn being scared into excited because they're both exactly the same emotion we just use the ego just turns this being scared into anxiety and scared into you can't do it that higher self within you right now is saying you can do this you were born to do this abundance success happiness is your birthright it is your birthright you were born to make great you know to be great and to change the world in your own way and I truly believe that and I believe in you. So this episode was all about standing in your truth. And I want you to really think about standing in your truth. What is your truth? You know, what can you do? What can you share? What can you give to the world that can make it better each and every single day? So I hope you've enjoyed this little episode. I always just try and come on and talk about different things whenever I feel the urge to talk about because because at the moment I'm channeling so much, you know, every day I'm connecting with my guides and I'm channeling and I'm writing things down. I've got my journal full of profound messages from my guides, which are just absolutely incredible and I can't wait to share more with you. And uh, one thing that I shared on my Instagram, which I'm not sure I mentioned in my last episode, but I'll tell you again because it was so profound. My guides told me to write down in one of my journals, abundance in capitals, 
And, you know, I kept going over the, the letters, you know, to make them really bold. Then they told me to uh, put a, a bun, so the first bit, A-B-U-N in brackets, and underline dance. And I was like, where's this going? So then they told me to look up the meaning of a bun, which means father, which is the divine masculine. And then dance is the divine feminine. So you think of abundance. Abundance is the perfect balance between divine masculine and divine feminine. And that's why we have to balance the two on a daily basis. Because, you know, when we're in flow, when we're grateful and, you know, we're aligned and we're connected, abundance flows naturally. It really does. And, you know, the messages I'm getting through are so profound. I'm just like, wow, I'm coming out of my meditations and my visualizations, speaking to Chris straight away. And I'm like, this has just happened. That They've just told me this. I've just channeled this. And even he's like, wow, Pip, like these are messages I need to share with the world because this is where, you know, this is where it comes from. It comes from higher source. It comes from the universe. It comes from guides. And when you start to align and connect, oh, it's just so magical it is so magical and I truly believe in the magic of life I really do and I want you to as well so I really hope you're enjoying my podcast so far I would really really appreciate if you could rate me whatever platform you're using subscribe and share this uh, podcast with your friends just so they're getting the message and it's getting you know shared out as much as possible and I am just so grateful to every single one of you who are listening to me who are sending me amazing messages, you know, reaching out to me and all of my new followers who have found me on podcast platforms and you've reached out and, you know, sent me some lovely kind words. I am so grateful to you all. I really am. If you would like to come on to this podcast as an interviewee, please let me know, send me a message and we can sort something out. I would love to have people's um, stories and perspectives on here with me. So I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. I'm sending you so much love and light as always. And I will chat to you all soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.